Hey everyone. Hey everybody, welcome back to this place. Yeah, so we've got a few things that we want to do and uh, a few few conversations we want to bring to you. So oh, yeah. <laughs> the first thing we're going to do is um, talk to, uh, to get the story on the borscht. The borscht, okay, so who do we need to actually talk to? I don't know, but I reckon we just go back out, out the back. The cook. cook. We've, we've already established a good rapport with this cook. Yeah. So, um... The man what's up with the is cooking utensils and gives you a little nod, acknowledging what, your presence. What is in that borscht? What, uh, yeah. I, mean, I was just looking at the manana thing. We can ask this too? Yeah, Leo said you're friends with manana. Is that true? The mention of manana gets his attention. He Ooh. smiles and delivers a whole slew of unfamiliar words and lively gestures. Oh, shit, yeah. Then he falls silent again. Okay, cool. Okay. What is in that borscht you're making there? The man says a couple of sentences mm. in that strange language of his and then seems to wait for you yes, to Yes, I speak. forgot this. I'm pretty sure he asked you a question. <laughs> he doesn't know your language. Oh, shit. You can just say something cool in return. We can just say something cool. <laughs> Mercury, Mercury rising, rising and run out here. Fingers through right here. I like that. Okay. Because otherwise... Borscht need more vodka. Oh. Oh. He picks up a bottle from the shelf. Of course. Vodka. Now that makes a very, very special borscht indeed. Turn it up and then ask for some yourself. Sure. <laughs> Hang on flush. a second. Um, do we know what borscht is? It's a familiar it, word. Isn't it like a... Oh, no, I might guess. I feel like it's a stew. Cabbage? Hey, Google. Bush? Oh, Bush. no, she thinks I said bush. <laughs> Which, great, fine, but no. Borscht. Borscht. It's funny getting your tongue around... Um, uh, what language does that come from? Is it Russian or German? I would say Russian. It's a soup. A soup? What did I say? You said something cabbage. Something cabbage. It's beetroot. It's red. Pretty fancy. Oh. You can put a picture up here. Everyone else knows what it is, just not us. Other people might not know what borscht is. <laughs> tell me, tell us if you already knew what borscht was. It's a beet soup thing. Beet soup. Turning it up seems like Looks a dangerous good. idea. Honestly, the place is a powder Sour. Cake. Mm. Um, we can either turn the vodka up, we can turn it down, or leave it to this guy. Up, turn it up. Turn it up. Let's make the... Let's get everyone slosh. Let's get the, the whole strike what out of control. What if it goes to the get the hearties drunk and they'll loosen their tongues? Turn the he vodka smiles, up. nodding vigorously, then pours half a bottle of vodka into the pot. With a whistle, he stirs the brew. Let's ask him for some of that brew. He smiles and nods enthusiastically. Yes, yes. And yes. chattering away in his language, ladles some brew into a small thermal cup, then hands it to you. Great. Nice. Friends, by the way, um, if you hear us sipping, that is um, a delicious homemade hot chocolate that Momo made. It's really, really delicious, lovely, Got nice. Oat milk, lots of fair trade dark chocolate and then even a little bit of dark brown sugar that's really nice highly recommend um i think we've asked him this before but i'm just going to ask it again it. yeah uh, do you know what's behind the blue door he looks up at you then looks mm. away quickly shrugging mm. and muttering something to himself well at least we asked i think it's haunted shrugging is an international sign for no i don't know what's behind that door. all right leave me alone right okay <laughs> yeah uh, I don't cool. think anything. I need anything else. Stay masculine. Do we want to check out the item and see if there's anything it tells us? Where is the cup of borscht? Around here somewhere, eh? Here, as a tool. Oh, physique. It gives us plus one physique and minus one morale. And it's got three uses. All right, so we so can, we can, like, we can slosh. And and then do something. <laughs> so hang on, hang on. No, we've talked about this before, which is get naked, chug a sip of this, and find me shit. I'm so keen. Oh, literally no need to do that. Oh, I just want to do so mad. 
<laughs> just you talking about that's making me like Stressed. save the game yeah. just just in case. Like sweat. <laughs> you see a heavy steel door with a pr- Hang on. I'm just gonna equip the pry bar and then interact with this door again. Sure. I don't know. I don't think we need to. You see a heavy steel door with a prominent dim- The cobalt blue surface feels rough to touch. The stainless steel door is flush with its frame on every side. Mm. This is all grayed out. I feel like we've been... The door we have. Has not mm. I just wasn't sure whether we had the pry bar at that point. Okay, so the second thing we're going to do in this, friends, is... We were going to go chat with the lady, but before we did that, what were we going to do? Talk to Joyce. Talk but to we Joyce. were also going to tell stories. So, oh, you go okay, first. so one of the stories... So I've been visiting my family the last week... Uh, for significant birthdays in the not mine uh, next generation up, it's been lovely visiting family. Oh, I'm going the wrong way, aren't I? To see Joyce, you see him. Um, <laughs> I got to hang out with one of my aunts. You know how, like, as you get older, you start to have these different relationships mm-hmm. with your like adult relatives mm-hmm. because. You're an adult now, and yeah, it's just yes. different. Yes, yes, for sure. I had a similar similar experience recently, but you go. Uh, anyway, uh, this aunt is a, a wonderful person, and she worked really, really, really hard on the um, the birthday stuff, including waking up at 3 a.m. the day of the party to bake. Anyway, I was talking to her about this and how like how incredible stamina she has and her determination and stuff and she was like well have you heard the story and we were also talking about like how she and her husband kind of like have a have a kind of interesting power dynamic in their relationship they kind of like um in some cases it's her way or the highway and in other cases it's his way or the highway and it's just like an interesting it's 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 a fun dynamic they both have a they have a really good relationship but anyway she was like well do you know the story about the sewing machine sewing machine and i was like no (laughs) <laughs> she proceeded to tell me a story about how so the last time we had a family reunion was about 20 years ago or more um, and it was down in a little town um, in the South Island where it was where my auntie no, my auntie, my great grandparents it's great grandparents or great great grandparents Great, 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 great grandparents was my grandfather's grandparents came to New Zealand, right? Right. That's where they lived when they first got here, and um, so we were all going down there, like the the, the 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 big clan. So even people who I've never met, Mm-mm-mm. even people my parents have never met, you know, the big clan. It was like two hundred fifty people going, and <laughs> she had been making, she'd been sewing. Um, skirts for her daughters because mm-hmm. she wanted them to have something special to wear for the party. Yeah. Sorry, I realise we just I've just stopped the game and I'm telling the story, but y- you have to hear the story. Uh, and she hadn't quite finished them. And they had to leave. And so her husband was like, it's t- too bad you're not going to get them finished. Um, let's just leave. And she was like, I should take my sewing machine. Okay. And he, and he was like, absolutely not. You're not bringing your sewing machine on holiday with us. Uh, you, no. There's no way you're going to finish them beyond this point in terms of all the things we have to do while we're on this holiday. And she was, like, furious. And the whole seven-hour drive that they took to get there, she didn't speak a word to him oh. the whole time. She was so angry that he, like put his foot down about the sewing machine. That is a long drive in silence. They got to the hotel, they booked in, they went to bed, still in silence. She got up again at like three o'clock in the morning or something, wrote a note, went downstairs, got in the car, drove back to Christchurch for a sewing machine. Wow! Well, turned around and then went back. Holy shit! That's that is that is determined. <laughs> Far out. And the note and and my uncle got up and he's just like, "Where is where is my wife? She's not in the bed. She's not anywhere in our rooms." Finds this note, 
I've gone for my sewing machine. Oh fuck! <laughs> Amazing. How does she? How does she tell the story? Is she? How do, what's the emotions there about what she did? She was just like, kind of like, don't pick, pick me into a corner when I know what I'm gonna do. Like matter of effect. Matter of fact. All right. She's just like sometimes. I'm right, <laughs> essentially. Yeah. Did she finish the skirts? What can she I did help? finish the skirts. Wow. Right. Because she's one of those people who can just like push herself. I can't do that. My body will just like push back. Yeah. Um. But have we shown her the badge? Show we show her the badge. One show her the badge. You did. Hmm. Pleased to meet you, Lieutenant Dunn. Mm. Afraid to Dubois. I am glad to see a man of high qualification. The situation is precarious. Got some experience for that. What can I help you with, Lieutenant Tiafreta? We've got some more questions about reality. Where are we? Second from the bottom. More lessons in basic reality? Oh, yes. My favourite part of the day. Go ahead, ask uh, me anything. This was someone was saying we've completed a thought, so we should go and talk to jo Joyce again. I didn't Let's go. quite follow it, so... Let's hope we don't fuck it up. It's 92%. What is yes. all of this? The scent, the sound, the air. What world is this? What Are we world? in a video game? The only one, I suppose. The world of matter. And its pale antipode. Hmm. The camera of her mind glides over the surface of the water. What do you, what see? Do you know if I see? Great bodies of water. Forest covered surfaces. Clusters of light where the cities lie. You've seen the montage. We all have. This world is enough. Hmm. Is it? it? Seems like a pretty dear, uh, dire place. A well, this part on the world is. The hair on the back of your arm. Wind sweeps the surface of the bay. The wind, the wind is, is sweeping the waters. The world is a suzerainty. Yes. Okay, shivers. I just burnt the back oh, of my throat. Shot. The hot, term of hot chocolate. The hot, hot chocolate. In the DeLorean century, when humanity was high on this world, discovering more and more of it, these archipelagos included. What is Elysium. it? Elysium. Oh! Oh, okay, nice. I love this. Uh, so we've got two options, which is Elysium, the world needs a term of endearment, or this world does not deserve a term of endearment. Well, I, I like to help one. Sure. It's it does. Positive. There are those who would call it hell. What is hell? A term of hatred that originates, like many such things, with the Mesk Petro fascists. I don't feel like I've got the whole picture yet. Oh, you want a picture of the world? There is no complete set yet, dear. They're having some trouble reaching orbit. Hmm. Interesting. Mm. So in this world... Am I taking that too literally, and that in this world they haven't got to the moon? I don't know, that's how I took it as well, so... Okay, how Great come? things are difficult to achieve. For now, we're viewing the world from the inside, sideways. Hmm... What shape is this world then? Don't be a flat earther, Harry! We used to think it was a sphere, but that is beginning to look less and less likely by the day. You wouldn't know it from the tabloids. But the ORG nations have been launching weather balloons into the lower ionosphere since the 30s. Holy shit, is this a flat Earth? ORG, Occident Revishol Grad. Because it's a video game? There's a steadily increasing trickle of images. Between the big three scientific contributors, they're piecing together a dark grey corona. A dark grey corona. Yes. Pale covers 72% of the surface. There are grey flares and prominences, even arcs above entire isolas. The images are blurry, but if there was a sphere in there, it certainly looks like it fractured a long time ago. Hmm. What? A cold fear seeps into you. Wait, oh, oh my god, wait, what the hell are you telling what me? What are you telling me? You seem to be spooked. Please don't be. The pale, what do you mean, Corona? They say there is a rarefied envelope of matter surrounding the darkened disk of our planet. That is, if we are still living on a planet. Or, to speak more plainly, imagine vast swathes of land disrupted by nothingness. 
I'm it's giving Izzo such a look right now, like, what the fuck is going on? We just finished that hot chocolate and it was incredible, but... Um... I am sorry, dear. It must sound quite terrifying through the acute encephalopathy. <laughs> Even scientific positivism isn't entirely convinced about what we're dealing with here. Well, I guess we've been existing in this state of the world for however long, so... It's fine, I guess. It sounds concerning. It sounds deeply concerning. Yeah. Also, now I'm wondering whether the physics of this world work entirely are... different. Yeah, but yeah. yes, and also like, like it is a tabletop game that's being played by someone, like with. Like, not just abstractly, like, we're playing a video game, but, mm. like, the actual story world is that it's just a game. Oh, shit. Well, let, let's, let's... My mind is blowing here, Well, in people... saying that, I was going to say, it's kind of... You know, the I think, therefore I am, that's how you know things are real, right? But the the idea of not knowing whether or not how reality is it where we're real it's kind of not a helpful thought you mean like how people are like what if we're living inside a simulation pretty much because it doesn't matter if it is a simulation you just got to carry on as if it's real because you don't know i guess because this we're not talking about real life like mm, us mm. the only reason why i think that it might be more interesting than what you just said is like if the physics of this story of this go Elysium the game. Oh, you perhaps could know? Yeah, like, uh, is there a way that Harry's going to somehow communicate with, like, the game overlords or something? Okay, I, don't know. I see what you're like, saying, I see what you're saying. I'm getting, I'm getting pretty deep here, folks. Yeah. Uh, please tell me if you think that I've just got off on <laughs> the world's biggest tangent. And if so, how much do you like it? <laughs> <laughs> this is one of the greatest questions of our time. Maybe when they get the complete set together, it will jolt us out of our rut, bring us together, however naive it may sound. Okay, and then everything will be okay? <laughs> I like both of these. Okay, you go for whatever you feel. Like. Well, I'm kind of, like, Isra and I have both have been through a reasonably major disaster uh, mm. when the Christchurch earthquakes happened, and... I think that disaster actually does bring people together a lot more than people think that it will. Yeah. So I don't personally agree with this, but I'm also just really curious about what this fractured corona means. Get in there then. You have misimagined it. I don't have the power to convey to you the effect and geometry of the images that depict our world from below low orbit. It's... It's like the crowning of the world. It's insane. Very disco. You love hmm. it. Well, if you say it's disco. Sure. See, everyone finds something worth holding on to in this world. Creaky chair. However wasted its opportunities. Nice. The cold seeps into you. The air is heavy with 80% humidity. Mm. Suddenly, you're conscious of yourself standing there on whatever this all is. Your arms hang down by your sides. Okay, what is pale? The pale is not, technically speaking, part of reality. It is the opposite of reality. Okay, but what is it? Is it a definition? Okay. The pale is the most dominant geological feature of the world, detective. The separative tissue between the Islers. It is the inter mass. Wait, and what is an Isola? <sighs> Isola is a Mycenaean word for a continent of matter enveloped on all sides by the pale. Also, isolation or landmass. We used to believe there was only one. In the last four centuries, we have discovered seven. Hmm. Okay, so hang on. There's a mass that separates the Isolas that's not just the ocean? Well, I mean, that's a good question. Is it not Windy, just the Seol, Samara, Ilmara, Grad, Katla, and this, Insulinde. And Insulinde is? An oceanic Isola. 
It comprises mostly of water. Moindi is the largest, Katla, the coldest, Insulinde, the bluest. What can I say? Each is perishing and dear. Oh, that's an interesting phrase. Okay, what is the pale like? Achromatic, odorless, featureless. The pale is the enemy of matter and life. It is not like any other or anything in the world. It is the transition state of being into nothingness. What the fuck is so going on? So in between on? these places? Do you travel through the pale? Exactly. What? The negation of being. Ooh. The negation right. of... The negation of Maybe being. Maybe you wouldn't travel through there. <sighs> um... Hmm. If we're surrounded by pale, how do you get from Isola yes, to Yes, Isola? great question. Oh, it is so difficult for us. A squall of birds. Hardware operating in the harbour. Firm. Self-evident. It is possible to force dimensions on the pale. In modern times, we can even compress its latitude, bouncing radio waves from one end to the other. I'm starting to think the path. that Joyce is just messing with her. Yeah. But it is still hard for humans to navigate the pale without getting lost or having our minds damaged. What the fuck? I'm fully, I'm fully willing to believe this, this exists in this world. Is it here? No, detective. We're safe. It begins there, 6,000 kilometers to the north, and even more to the south, east, and west. You are in the middle of the Isola. Hmm. Again, this is sounding more and more like... Just Like nonsense? a game? Mm. Like, oh, a game, yeah, yeah. Like there were, there's like multiple maps that mm. someone's made, and to pass from one map to another, you've got to go through this nothingness. Okay, right. I don't know. As your gaze instinctively turns north, a small black pit opens up in your stomach. 6,000 kilometers from the end of the world. Yes. That is enough. Many cities are built much closer. And pointing north there? An uproar of matter, darling. Rising into the pale. Rolling. Ooh. Evaporating even. A great vision. The area of transition between the world and the pale is called porch collapse. Porch collapse. Imagine a grey coronal mist, cold vapour marked by spores of an opportunistic microorganism, a mould that's adapted to grow at the edge of the unrest. It's uh, the most disco thing you will ever see. Okay. You hear your pulse rise. The air feels caustic and cold suddenly. What? I really it? wish Kim was here for this conversation. Well, he didn't want to be here. <laughs> I know, but I'm really curious what he thinks about all of this. Right. I feel like Kim would just be like, it doesn't really matter. I can't do a French accent. What, what are its physical, physical qualities? It's difficult to describe or even measure. Something whose fundamental property is the suspension of properties. Physical Epistemological, linguistic. So how do, how do we know this? What sort of studies have been done? How do we travel through? What's, I have lots the of questions. The further into pale you travel, the steeper the degree of suspension, right down to the mathematical. Numbers stop working. No one has yet passed the number barrier. It may be impossible. But okay, but the like, how do you know where you're going? How do you traverse yeah. the space? It's like we're slipping between dimensions. Yeah, and if... If um, if the fundamental properties of everything are suspended, how do you exist? Yeah. Well, that's why we were saying before. Get out again. The pale can damage the mind extensively. Ooh. How? Some say the damage stems from extreme sensory deprivation. Others argue that pale somehow consists of past information that's degrading. That it's rarefied past, not rarefied matter. Ooh. They call it the blend over of the self. The pale does not only suspend the laws of physics, but also the laws of psychology. Maybe history even. The human mind becomes over radiated by past. Do you, think, do you think we'll get to go through some pale at some point? I hope so. Who says and who argues? Oh. 
Let's say that then. The logical positivists say, the dialectical materialists argue. Okay. What does this over-radiation feel like? It feels terrible. Absolutely terrible. International standards strictly limit civilian travelers to six days of pale exposure per year. Hmm. Huh. And, sounding and, less like something she's just bullshitting us about. Yeah, so uh, this, and then I have questions about, like, how long does it take to get through the pale? What is six days of pale exposure? Can you, is that six days, like, mm. there and back is a day? Or does it take that long to go one way and you're stuck on the other side per, for the entire year? How it's does that fascinating work? to me that within the context of this world, people were trapped in their individual isolas. Mm somehow found out that there were other Isolas beyond the pale mm. and then chose to try and go in there mm. to physically connect to those places. It's pretty incredible. Wild. Yeah. I I I believe that though because humans have a venture, venturing spirit. Mm, 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 mm. It's more for her. Way more. Oh, you're not a civilian passenger. No, Lieutenant Dubois. I'm entrepreneurial business class. I'm cleared and trained for 22 days of pale transit annually. Wow. Wow. Someone else you've met may have been exposed as well. The strange grey-haired woman in her mm. room. Ah. Do lorry drivers pass the pale? Yes. Carried in the hulls of airships. It's a horrific job. Automation will abolish it soon. Mm. You should ask the pale driver about this. See what pale driver is her name. Oh, that's so interesting. That poor woman must have stories to tell, like you wouldn't imagine. Are you a radiant? Up to my gills, officer. Hmm. What does that mean for her? What is entrepreneurial? Entrepreneurialics is the scientific study of the pale, or a recent iteration of it by way of Grad. The study of the pale reaches back 6,000 mm. years. The Perikonarsians called it the Western Plain. They have not travelled the entire circumference <gasps> of the Perikonarsian Shiba Isola. It was not merely in the West. It was everywhere, even then, surrounding them. Did they cross it, the Western Plain? Sorry, I was f totally not paying attention while I was saying that. Um, okay, right, so it was surrounding them. There are signs of pre modern crossings. Successful navigation of the Pale relies not just on technical know-how, but intensive psychological mm. preparation. Some of these tactics have been known for thousands of years. I wonder how many times Harry's gone through it. Oh, that's a good question. What has entrepreneurialics changed then? Nothing. We remain powerless before the pale. The only real advance in pale transit is the speed with which an aerostatic craft can pierce it. Less exposure leads to less effects later. Makes okay. sense. If you can go through faster, it's not going to... Yeah. Although, what does speed mean in that context, right? Yeah, aerostatic craft. Hybrid airships, detective. Conventional rotors or jet engines no longer add velocity mm. after the point of reference for motion is suspended once you've crossed from near pale to far pale. In essence, we throw them in and they come out the other end. If we huh. throw them precisely. Ooh, and if we do not? Then they don't. Ooh. Ah! Well, like a skipping stone beneath the surface. Do you remember when, probably about four or five years ago, NASA, um, NASA, sorry. Uh, <laughs> the look you just gave your microphone, like, mm. <laughs> um, uh, had that, like, like it was like a concept for a spaceship that creates a vacuum in front of itself so that it is pulling itself. It pulls itself oh, so it can, like, like, in theory, move faster than the speed of light oh. because. Am I right about that? I think so. Because it kind of breaks the laws of physics. Hmm. Anyway, 
I haven't looked up recently if they've got anywhere with that concept, but it was one of, I remember it coming up because they were like, yes, it's just a theory and it seems kind of outlandish, but like mathematically, they were like, it works mathematically. Interesting. Uh, we don't know if it would work in reality, but mm. mathematically it does. And yeah. sometimes these outlandish concepts are worth investigating, even if that's not what you end up with. Yeah, mm. right. Because you can you can learn more things about physics or whatever. Yeah. Anyway, so I just it just made me think of it while we were talking about. It. Let's just investigate the last one. How much pale is there compared to the world? The pale outweighs reality two to one. There is more pale than there is matter. Far out. And the ratio is slipping. Ooh. Oh, great! Slipping how? What do you think, detective? It's shrinking. There is more and more. Oh, hang on. It's growing. There's more and more of that one. That one is what I think is happening. Yeah. Precisely. One of the few measurable effects of the pale is that it is expanding at an unknown rate. It's interesting wow. that it can expand. It kind of implies, uh, I kind of think of the pale as its own thing between spaces and t instead of taking space itself, but it seems that it's encroaching somehow. Yeah, or like the ma the matter of the isolas is being consumed in. by it or something. Yeah. An intuitive conclusion of that development is that one day the pale will cover everything. But this sort of talk is mostly left to extremists. I just want to say silent. Um, Where would we go? Yeah. Most people, and indeed most private and government sector organisations, entire civilizations and religions even, find handy ways to ignore or downplay that knowledge. Okay. Yeah, it's kind of like people's approach to climate change, eh? It's just like, if we don't think about it, then we don't have to panic. I suggest you do the same. Off we go. You see the hanged man's mouth open. Off we go into the wild pale yonder. One and all. They say pale is death, but for the universe. Why <laughs> should we just leave and leave? And the world get left behind? Hmm. Let's let return to reality, please. Yes, sweet reality. But before we do, Ooh, tell me, wanna? detective, is this the first time you're hearing this? Do you really not remember anything? Okay, I really like the second option, which is Same. I sometimes sense vague shadows of the past and it's not good. Then tell me, what do you think of the pale... Um, Whoa, lots of options here. So we've got, it's terrifying. We've got, you were right, it's disco. We've got, it will end all life. Number four is that we continue to persist at all as a testament to our faith in one another. Number five, its advance can only be stopped with immediate, total, <laughs> ruthless communism. Uh, six, a powerful anti-communist force, perhaps too powerful, but still, they have it coming. Seven, I'm worried. I have to say, it doesn't sound very liberal to me. Eight, I don't know how how you've all survived with it. It's a huge accomplishment. Nine, who am I to think anything of it? So I kind of want to say what I think, which is not really on there, I don't think. Hmm. Which is, um, to me, it sort of feels... As though, you know when, you know sometimes it's a clear Can night sky. Can the cat's box a little bit closer to you? Because she's falling out the Come this way. Look at you. You're so good. Um, you know, on a clear night and it's, you're not in the city and it's super dark and you look up into the night sky and you feel so small in the universe, mm. universe, universe, the universe, um, and you feel like a tiny speck in this grand place. Mm. Um, and it's kind like of, in some ways... scurrying around on the surface of the Sure, earth. and whilst it makes you feel a little bit insignificant, it's also reassuring that the world just, and the universe just is. Yeah, like, at some point, humanity will stop existing and the universe will just carry on and it won't really matter. Yeah, and I, I have to say, why would we not feel that way? As long as the pale lives. Seems like it's always been around, or at least we have documentation that it's been studied for 6,000 years. So not necessarily always, but... If it's a natural occurrence and it is something that just exists in the world, I'm shrugging, you know? Right, I see what you mean. Like, it is what it is. It is what it is. It yeah, will consume absolutely. all and there we go. 
Mm. Um, so I don't think it's, when you say you were right, it's disco. I don't know that it's like a celebratory thing, but um, I'm not sure. I don't know how you've survived with it. It's usually got, maybe that we continue to persist at all. Well, is it faith though? Maybe you're right, it's disco. Yeah. It's fucking weird. How do you weird. feel about it? Well, how do I feel about it? If I could say anything, I'd be like, I think it sh it's almost like it should be telling us something about our lives and our existence, but we can't quite put our finger on it. Mm, 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 mm. And I don't know whether I feel that way just because I'm outside of that world and know how the physics of a different universe operate. <laughs> mm. Let's just say you were right, it's disco. Okay. We don't know how to respond mm. to that. Her eyes tense. She doesn't think so. Crow's feet radiate from them. She observes you, your blush eyes and swollen face. Mm. Well. You really didn't know. This does not spell good for the investigation, detective. If you don't know even this, then... Look, look. Uh, this investigation will be my masterpiece, the one they remember my, me by, I promise. <laughs> well, you're looking at the bottom The bottom one, one. <laughs> it'll be a fucking disaster. I know no, no, no. all those people will die. We want to maintain our morale. Uh, yeah. Yes. They'll remember me by it. I hope so. I truly do. Yeah. If I may suggest, hold on to your colleague, Kitsuragi. I ran a check on him and he is very competent. In the meanwhile... Well, it's certainly been our experience so far that he's competent. Mm. Yeah. You have me. Ah. I will assist you in any way I can, even if we have to do it one basic term at a time. Ah, secret task complete. Talk to Joyce about the pale without Kim. Ooh. Um, I think that's enough talking to Joyce for now, because otherwise we're going to lose our minds. We've got a fuck all time left, Glad so to let's... Have been of assistance. <sighs> So whilst you run somewhere, oh, it's All snowing. Fair weather, T five hundred. Yes. Remember that weakness you were looking for in the ceramic armor. Hmm. Like, maybe it can only stop small, fast projectiles, but a large, slow-moving pry bar would shatter it. Hmm. Or, if I run an electrical current through it, maybe it will melt. Or, personal favorite. Frequency something something radio weapon. None of that would work. You need to shoot the part of the enemy that doesn't have Fairweather T500 on it. Because the armor itself is invulnerable. Good news is, so are the armor pieces on you. Great. Okay. So we just finished that thought, hey? Plus two hand-eye coordination against enemies in FT500 armor. Ooh. That's concerning. I would hope that we don't have to fight anybody in yeah. FT500 armor, but I guess I, we're probably wrong. Mm. Let's, let's leave because it costs points to get the next one. Let's leave it for now. Yeah, we don't have any points <sighs> anyway. But while it's snowing, let's quickly fast travel back to the church. Okay, cool. And then that will be us. I just wanted to tell friends very quickly about something you sent me. Was it yesterday or today? Yesterday. So Momo has been working on making some images of... Um, of both you and me, right? Yes. So friends of, that you can, of like... The, of the kitties. Yes, of us, so that you can get, like... I can't click on Without anything. actually having, you know, our actual faces, but you can get a proper vibe of what, who we are, what we look like, right? Well, not really a proper vibe, but, you know. You know. Yeah, a uh, cute uh, anime avatar But esque But that is more than just a generic... It's oh, actually yeah. based, but actually based on us, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's what I mean by, like, a proper vibe. Anyway, Momo was sending me these um, pictures of the ones that you've done of you. Mm. And they look great, by the way. But at the same time, you were talking about, like, oh, one yeah. of them. There's something down there. Ooh. Proba? Fuck you the proba? Clown in the... Um, sorry. <laughs> yeah, good call. Can you pry it open? No, I can't. Mm, okay. Um... Huh. Uh, showing me all these examples, these lovely examples. Some of them super cute. Um, some of them had different expressions, slightly different hair. And one of them, just out of nowhere, 
have like <laughs> oh yeah 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 so i was i was just using mid jenny right i was using ai and i like fed it pictures of of my face and was like make me something like this and then i'm like doing more versions and then just out of nowhere there was like uh, one of the images a, a brand, like an extra person was in the image a, a, like a, a, a lady sleeping on momo's tits <laughs> He had rested nuzzled in there. Yeah. And it, uh, Just like, like uh, in an expression of total peace. Content. And I thought, well, yes, of course, if you were sleeping on tits, right? Like, Yeah. You, yes. So, and and the the bit of... Um, Winter, slow to let go sorry. Of the That's all right. Flex some more That's what we don't hear, right? From above. But I keep talking about... And in the video that Momo sent me, you said... Uh, fuck capitalism. Let's all just sleep on tits. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was like, this is great. Yeah, this is what we should be doing this, is, this, this time. Is, this is fuck what we capitalism. Let's sleep on tits. And I, I, I'm taking that to heart. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, friends, I just thought you should know. I yeah, should know. if you catch us saying fuck capitalism, sleep on tits. That's where it's from. That's and, why. <laughs> and then maybe one day we might have some images as well. But yeah. 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 The good. snow falls lazily, making the beach sand paler still. Mixing with the rust coloured sewage runoff. Okay, mm. so interesting, it's teleported us up here. Mm. But I think we were over here when we last left the church here, or maybe up here. Up there, I think we were. Anyway, just. And to that. think, it seemed as though it were already spring. Mm, how does it feel? You're warm in your hat and your coat. Like a well equipped explorer, you come oh, to survey the white landscape. Yeah, let's have a look around. Let's okay, so this is like the shivers that we got when we f when we f first upgraded shivers and then left the whirling and rags. We and had a similar. And this is all very useful. Yeah. What's so in the west? Winding coastlines lined with abandoned buildings, like buildings, crumbling piers, salt water lapping at their dark piles, grey and red forgotten city blocks. What remains of the pre-revolutionary effort to gentrify the coast? And we have the waters turn black. Coal City in the shadow of San Martin, a boom town. Back when coal extracted from countless shafts near the city was needed to power Revachon. Mm. Okay. No more. The coal was supplanted by petroleum from the ocean floor and hydropower from the Esperance. Everything crumbled. These days, only the weakest remain in Coal City. Their hopes of getting rich linger in the defunct shafts under their feet. Mm, what is there? Below the old mines. Losser Municipal. Revachel's underground cemetery. La Petite Ra braved the underground passageways, trying to get to Le Royaume. Le Petit Ra? Children under 14. They oh. go underground, looking for artifacts to sell to foreign museums and for fabled relics. Their parents let them. They go deeper. <sighs> Deeper. After rubies, melchiorite, lapis lazuli, plundered from Safre and Seol during the time of the suzerain. In the burial chambers of the kings, Grand Old Philip, Guillaume II, and even in the mausoleum of Philip the Opulent. Mm. Interesting. It's, it's particularly interesting also because when we uh, interacted with the sandcastle, uh, Harry was like, there's catacombs or something. Not catacombs, like tunnels beneath here and I just thought he was talking about this, the sand castle but maybe he's talking about this hmm. Two you okay? Underground oh sorry it wasn't updating shaft along oh, yeah. walls mirrors have been placed so that daylight may eternally fall upon the richest of all the kings oh nice cool hmm. the mausoleum contains untold quantities of gold and that special purest of the pure magenta cocaine favored by Revacholian royalty. Cool. How can it be pure if it's magenta? How can it be pure if it's magenta? Snow falls and there is no answer. Okay. Some things are not for mortals to know. Wipe okay. the snow from our shoulder. Few patira return from the shafts. Oh, Even shit. fewer find what they're looking for. A small child steps out of the black tunnel with silver trinkets in her pocket. What happens to her? All around her, white snow on the extinguished coke furnaces and on the weather-worn shacks where fathers beat their sons after drinking. The snow melts on your fingers, turning to water. Ooh. We're going to the east. 
Um, yeah. I wonder... Sometimes Harry seems to just intuit things that are happening in the world that aren't related to him at all. Mm. But I do wonder whether um, that particular story is a memory of something that's happened to something that he, someone that he knows. Oh, yeah, that's a good question. Like maybe his mysterious ex-lover. What's in the east? The canal you crossed to get here and beyond it. Martinez proper. The district. The police forgot to police. There is laughter, lights, attempts at entrepreneurial activity, cynicism. Mm -hmm. Someone is scraping snow off their windshield at the roundabout, in the midst of which a statue of Philip III serves as a destination for grade school field trips and a fine perch for winter birds. That's all? Like all monuments, it's also a warning. Six-story ruins on the south side of the roundabout cast a long shadow over the profligate king. Interesting. Oh. I just had a thought. We 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 were told we should go and talk to the pale driver. I was again. thinking that as well. Yeah. Um, I'm wondering whether do we want to wait till we've got Kim back? Ooh. Because there was that secret task of talking about the pale with Joy. So that, that implies to me, I could be totally wrong, but it implies to me that Kim might not want to talk about the pale. Ah, so maybe we should speak to the pale driver without him. Is that what you're suggesting? So, so that's, that's option A, might be better to talk to her, her without him. But option B is we haven't heard anything from him about the pale because no. he wasn't there. So if we want to find out what his opinions are... If Ooh. we wait, then kind of we like, might have that opportunity. I kind of like option B. Same. Mm. Okay. okay. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. I'm sorry, team, that we've got stuck in another endless talking with nothing happening. But, but I think we're know. just going to, we're going to lean Here into we it. We're going to go f and just deal with it. Yeah. Yeah. A fenced off yard. There's a truck belonging to a logistics company parked next to the gate. Bright light from a building behind the fence reflects off its hood. Clean white light coming from the windows of a clean cube-shaped office building hidden a amidst secret. ruins. A mm. secret. So hang on. So this is around the Martinez area. Yeah, and then it says a fenced off yard that's a truck belonging to the logistics company parked next to the gate. And then the clean white light coming from the windows of a clean cube-shaped... So yeah. There's a secret office somewhere there that amongst a secret. ruins. Okay. North? What's in the, the north? Abandoned church. Yeah. One yeah. of two remaining stave churches, which were collectively called La Sette Sur. The Seven other sisters. Six sisters were destroyed during the revolution. Ah, interesting. Uh, in further north? A serpentine north? strip of land weaving its way into the Martinez Inlet. Unfortunates on the run from the law from themselves, sometimes hide out on nearby islets. Little dots in the ocean that are occasionally submerged when the Ooh. tide is high and the weather foul. I would have said islets myself. Uh, yeah, I was wondering that. Anyway. Uh, and on the islets? The remains of a camp on a jagged piece of rock, a tent, old dishes and cutlery, long since abandoned. A hermit crab scuttles among the debris, looking for a new shell. Mm. Further out, the lights burn bright on Resurrection, way beyond Martinez. Mm. A popular spa destination for ample-bodied Ozon kids with equally ample pockets. Okay. Cool. Uh, and the other side of the inlet? Then there's Ozon, but the snow falls too thick. You cannot see that far. I'm kind of fascinated how that conversation with Joyce and finding out that we're, the laws of physics and stuff are not the same. It opens up this whole kind of possibility in terms of, like... Uh, what am I trying to say? Like, what's possible mm. in this world? And, like, so, like, at the moment... Harry's just interpreting things through shivers, which earlier in the game it's kind of like, how much of this is based on his existing knowledge and how much of it is him just kind of like It's just his thoughts and vibing. his head. Yeah. And but now I'm like, is he like psychic? Question, good question. 
And or does the pale mean does it does it actually mean that the physics in the the world between the pale maybe it's just as what it is maybe the, the the pale is the only thing that's different maybe but i would love it if shivers really was some sort of connection to the world i think it is yeah before that the curtains before the curtains are drawn the bay of revershell vastness great depth over 1200 meters Ooh. at its deepest it's pretty Water deep. It's very deep. Brinier than here. It is crisscrossed by huge cargo ships bearing company logos. Wild Pines, Zum, Morian. And at the farthest reaches of the Bay of Revershaw, the shadow of the coalition warship Archer, on perpetual patrol duty, ready to unleash artillery fire if you were to rise up against the market. You shudder. We're going to rise up against the market. Yeah. Just um, you wait. What's in the south? What's in the south? The raised motorway, 881, separating Martinez from Jamrock. Mm. Vehicles whoosh past one another day and night, while those who reside in the labyrinthine alleyways beneath the motorway attempt to carry on with their lives in the snow and the slush. And south of the 881 is... The Pox. The Pox. What is that? Was once a park, a place for reflection and recuperation for the patients of the old military hospital. In the 20s, it was used as a quarantine center during a measles outbreak that killed many children. Most everyone has avoided the hospital and surrounding park ever since. Mm. Okay. Okay. But that doesn't necessarily mean that there's anything wrong with it. No. Although it could. Do, 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 have you heard that? Um, I probably told it to you before because I find it really fascinating. Um, have you ever heard that thing about how they like put a, a probe down into one of the mass graves of the people who died oh, during the plague? still had active disease yeah. in there. Mm. How many hundreds of years has it been since then? Like mm. 600? Fucking the wild. is completely wild now. Evergreen thickets covered in snow and industrial dust. Feral dogs and even wolves roaming in packs. The police try to keep the deepest corners cordoned off. But still. Heavy drug users do slip through and hole up in the old military hospital, hoping to find something to get high on among the hastily abandoned supplies, or just to overdose in peace. And further south? A line of motor garages with armoured carapaces hunched in the cold. A mechanic is hard at work patching up bullet holes in the side of a Capri 40. These are the garages of Precinct 41. Ah. Snow settles on the roof of the repurposed silk mill. It serves as your station. Okay. Shivering RCM personnel hurry in and out of the main entrance. Around okay. you, the snow continues to fall. To the west, the ocean swells. No, it was home. I want more. The stairs descend to central Jamrock. A man named Cooklove has a snow-covered stall there in the market across the bridge. He sells kebab infested with fly larvae oh, to the colleagues Christ. who believe eating it will make them immune to food well, poisoning. Grim. Snow falls on the utility district, the library, the florist, the Sarah Mauritian restaurant that offers homemade wine, and also on the brothels and drug dens and the chop shops of the Zemliaki. Was it you that told me that um, maggots can, like, survive being swallowed and can, like, burrow through your intestinal walls? No? Is it true? Yeah. Well, at least that's what I've been told. Hey, Google. Can maggots survive being swallowed and then burrow through your intestinal walls? I need to know. All of this built around a lake that formed in a meteorite strike. At the center of this lake, there is a little ship. There are lights at the bottom of the This is confusing. They are Sorry. lights directed toward the seafloor, looking for something, like whiskers. Do you want to repeat that for the people of the internet, is that? Oh. Content warning for gross maggot shit. This is from kidshealth.org. Uh, larvae in the lungs can climb up the airways to the throat. Is this, is this maggots though? Where they are swallowed. 
The swallowed larvae return to the small intestine and grow and mature into adults. This happens throughout... Two- this doesn't seem like maggots to me. Uh, well, can maggots... maggots are fly larvae, right? Well, larvae could be a bunch of things, though. Um... Finish reading it out. The yeah. people want to know. Well, I don't think... Because it's... Uh, I just need to check and see if there's actually... No, that's worms. That's worms. Worms? That was worms. So... Like intestinal worms? Yeah. Oh, on. okay. All right, I'll keep reading this. Okay. So, da, da, da. Wow, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. The maggots that cause meiosis can live in the stomach and intestines as well as the mouth. This can cause serious tissue damage and requires medical attention. Uh, it's not contagious. Symptoms are uh, uh, gastro, gastrointestinal tract, upset, stomach upset, vomiting, diarrhea. Um, although this other one just says stomach acid will kill maggots. They're just protein anyway. Maybe it's a very specific type. Yes. Okay, moving on. A chill comes over you, crawling down your back. The sand under your feet is wet. Somewhere in the south, tarpauling flap in the wind. What's buff? More coalition aerostatics. Occasionally, lights flash as they maneuver through the falling snow. One large airship carries crates in its belly. What's below? Layer upon layer of sand, poisoned with industrial runoff. The storm drainage, hidden bunkers, rats scuttle. Tell me a secret of the sands, wind. Someone stuffed a big old polar anorak into a concrete pipe under the boardwalk. It would keep you warm. You would probably never happen across it, but who knows? What? Where is that? I want that anorak. Stomp your feet for warmth, brushing off the snow. Concrete pipe under the boardwalk. What boardwalk? This one? Hmm. Well, we we can go have a look. The spring thaw will come in earnest. Just not yet. Okay. Well, that was a lot of talking twice over, so sorry about that, fam. Um... Should I go into the church? No, we, this episode is long enough already. Um, what's the conclusion about maggots? You've got a very unhappy look on your face, is that? Mm, so I think, I think you're right. It might just be something very specific, but uh, this will not be how you pronounce it, but myiasis, M-Y-I-A-S-I-S. It's an infection that occurs when maggots infest and feed on the living tissue of animals or humans. Um... Ugh, man, it's grim. I don't know. I think we need to leave it there. <laughs> okay. Yeah, nah. Pass. Thanks. Yeah. Gross. Yeah. That stuff makes, like, literally the hair on my head itch. Just reading about it. Okay, cool. We're not going to keep investing it in the church by ourselves. Nah. Um, it's the end of this episode, so goodbye. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> Nah, friends, actually, have a great time. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. We this... appreciate you coming along for the ride, and... Um... I'd love to hear, like, for, especially for anybody, because there's a few people who are watching, who are commenting, who haven't seen this game before, and so don't know things. And so I'd love to know your theories about the pale, mm. the physics of this world, magic, science, yeah. psychic... Energy, shivers, vibes, and disco. And for those of you who have played it before, I'd be interested in what your reaction was when you first when you got to this point. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. So, um, all right, friends, have a great time. We will uh, catch you next time. See you then. Bye.